I would think that uh, the fellow following major lines are true and define the relationship between Armenia and NATO. First, there is a strong cooperation with NATO for about, not about, but for 20 years now. Uh, we have heard about that. This is the PFP, Partnership for Peace. Second, NATO has profited from Armenia's contributions to missions like in K4 and ISAF. And thirdly, Armenia, especially its armed forces, has profited a lot from these missions. Another point would be, during these 20 years, Armenia has signed and implemented some IPAPs. Mr. Samuel Mkachian has spoken about it. And Armenia has realized some reforms within the armed forces as well with some support of NATO and its member states. So that would be a kind of a basic line. Uh, but coming more specific to current realities, I would, uh, I, I would see some points which I would uh, like to share with you. Uh, that is that Armenia uh, just lately signed uh, number four of IPEP, individual partnership action plan, and these are for the years 2014 to 2016. Another point which is in a reality and which is a new reality is that Armenia, being one of the force contributors to ISAF, signed a new agreement with NATO for the next mission, which is, which is called the Resolute Support Mission, RSM. And this mission will start, as you may know, beginning of next year, 2015. Its essence being a short-term engagement on training and enabling Afghan security sector. Another uh, decisive factor is, I think, the participation of members of Armenian National Parliament in the activities of the Parliamentary Assembly of NATO. And in that respect, we just recently saw the participation of two members of Parliament in the Rose Roth NATO PA seminar in Baku, 16th to 18th of June. And this, the, the, the two members were Mr. Koryun Nahapetyan and uh, Mr. Pogosyan, the two honorable members of parliament. And lately we saw in Brussels the NATO foreign ministers meeting as well in June and within that framework of the meeting we had a meeting, it was the fifth meeting of the ISAF force contributors. And of course Armenia is one of those as my colleague, the British ambassador, cited and developed about the ranking of Armenia within that uh, ISAF force contribution. My Minister of Foreign Affairs, Steinmeier, stressed that Germany might be ready for up to two years to take over the role as a framework nation in the area, in the northern part. And especially uh, with a bilateral view to the current ISAF engagement of Armenia, I would like to draw your attention on the fact that German armed forces being in charge of the Northern Command of ISAF are very satisfied with the absolute reliability and cooperation with Armenian armed forces. The expression of that is in fact that in November 2013, last November, the German Minister of Defense awarded an Armenian serviceman with the Medal of Honor of our German Armed Forces. And in June, there was a member of parliament, Mr. Lamas, here in town to have high-ranking talks and to give as well a public lecture on NATO affairs. Mr. Lamas is the Vice President of NATO Parliamentary Assembly and as well the Deputy Chairman of our Defense Committee in the German Bundestag. 
So these are some uh, points I wanted to list on current realities and to wrap this part up I would say these are it's impressive but not exhaustive list of activities shows that the cooperation between NATO and Armenia is as strong as can be for an IPEP partner. The second question concerning new plans. I must be a little bit vague because I don't know them yet. Uh, we have heard already some aspects from Mr. Mekachian, except for the RS mission, the new mission, the follow-up mission in uh, Afghanistan. I, I'm not aware of other things, but we will learn that.